Hi guys, it's Beth and welcome to my channel, Bourbon Creek Crafts. Today I am going to play with my sheet load leftovers. So earlier this month, I made a sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Owl. And I made some little boy and girl, like welcome, hello baby type cards. And I had some scraps left and I just thought I would go ahead and use those up. So I have some of the blues left and some pinks. And so I just thought I'd go ahead and make some more cards and not have to put any of this back in my stash. I also had a few sentiments left from the batch that I did when I made those cards. And so I'll use those and I'll also have to like stamp some other ones. But I did pull out some sketches to kind of give me some inspiration. So I think for the pinks, I'm going to try and get two of these cards. It's my favorite thing, sketch number 181. So here I'm just taking that pink card stock and I'm going to cut two card mats down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And this is just a fit. I'm using A2 size card bases for this. So they are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I measured that footprint paper just to see how wide it was. And I believe it was like four and a half inches or I guess how tall. So I went ahead and made it an inch shorter an inch thinner than the card base. So it was four and a half by three and a quarter. And then I just have my strip there that I will trim down to fit the width of my card. And I'm pulling out a stamp that says bundle of joy. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it a few times just in case I need it for any more cards in this batch. And then I have a one and three quarters inch punch that I am just punching out the sentiments with. And I realized for the girl card, I have a little flower on that baby stamp set as well. So I'm just going to add some flowers to my sentiment just to pretty it up a little bit. Trying to figure out where to place it. And now I am ready to trim down that strip and I just made it um, four and an eighth inches wide. And I don't know how or I just kept the width of what it was, so I'm guessing it was probably about an inch and a half wide, and then I did four and an eighth inches long. When I make cards using sketches, a lot of times I just use the size of the scraps that I have. You hear me say that quite a bit. So even if, even though some of the sketches have measurements on them, like I just make it fit the size of the scraps that I happen to have and I'm going to use so and that comes with practice just kind of being able to eyeball in the very beginning I when I started first started card making I couldn't do that but now I can kind of gauge the distance you know between the the pieces and kind of guess how much space to, that is to leave around each of the the mats or the different layers so This strip I did trim down just a bit because it was wider than that last one, um, but I cut it down to four and eight inches long again. I punched a scallop circle, two inch scallop circle out of the pink cardstock that was left just to go behind my sentiment here. And then I had this little piece of that kind of pink oval, darker pink paper. And so I decided to cut it down into two little pieces so I could make some fishtail banners. And I'm just going to add them to the top of the card just to so bring in some more of that darker pink and it's kind of a nod to Christy Marcotte style. She got a lot of banners like this on her cards as well. So I will finish up this banner and then I have two little strips left that I'm going to trim down to fit on the inside of the card. So I think I trimmed those down to about four inches and I'm just going to put those on the inside bottoms of my card, decorates the inside of the card and helps use up some more of those scraps that are left. So there are my first two cards. So that's what I have left of the pink. My next sketch is Operation Right Home sketch number 56 and I'm moving on to the blues that I have left. And again, this sketch has measurements, but I'm going to go a little bit bigger with my 
blue footprint piece there. Uh, the sketch called for three and three quarter inch square. I went ahead and did a four inch square. One, just to cover up more of that white card base and two, to use more of that blue footprint paper. So I will put that down and then for the kind of tealy blue square I did, it, it was three inches wide, so I went ahead and went with the three inch square for that piece. My strip here, I just left it at the width it was and then made it five and a half inches long to fit across the card. Layer up that teal and then use my last little Hello Baby sentiment right there in the center. And that I'm not opposed to having white space on my card, but there's a white space kind of in the corner there that it just looks unbalanced to me. So I pulled out that strip thinking I could use it, but I'm actually going to put it on the inside of the card. And at this point, I didn't have my wet glue over there, so I was trying to make do with my ATG gun. So here is where I'm going to try and punch some stars to use in that upper left-hand corner. And I realized I forgot that my punch doesn't always punch cleanly, and so I punched from the wrong direction to get the clean side on the darker teal side that I wanted. So I had to punch another set of three, and I'm just going to kind of stagger the stars up there in that left-hand corner. Again, just to help balance it out, it just looked a little unbalanced. So there's my first card. My next one's going to be a mini slim line, and I'm using the Mojo Monday sketch number 404. It's a tall and skinny sketch, so I'm just going to adapt it to my slim line, mini slim line, which is three and a half by six inches card base. So I trimmed that teal piece down to like three by five and a half, and then I have that strip like the darker navy strip that I trimmed down to three and a half inches long. And then these are just some birthday stickers that I found on my stash where the, the blues kind of coordinated. So I just decided to go in a little bit direction, kind of veer away from the baby theme for a bit. And we're going to do some birthday to try and use up these stickers. So I, I'm taking the candles there and then I'm going to find a birthday stamp that I can use. And I decided to go, I was trying to find one that was the same width and that was like a bigger font. So I'm going to use that one where happy is kind of at an angle and then the birthday is beneath it. And this is one of those, like it's meant to be like a, it's meant not to have a clean stamp image. Like it's meant to look like a, I can't think of the word, a rough stamp image in, it, sometimes that bothers me. I don't use that one very often because you can kind of see that the bottom doesn't stamp cleanly and it's kind of meant to do that. So I did stamp it a few times just to make sure I got it as like dark and clean as possible before I stamped it onto that white for my actual like little embellishment there. Now I'm just going to adhere all of my pieces down. And I, by using that bigger rectangle, tangle, I'm kind of veering away from the circle that was on the sketch, but I am going to go ahead and put it towards the top, just like the sketch does with the circle. And then I'm going to bring in some more of the stickers from that sticker sheet, the little noise maker, and then some little yellow stars, again, just to use up some more stickers from that sheet and to bring in some color and fun going on at the bottom of the card. Put another strip on the inside and card number four is done. So I don't have any like big scraps left anymore. So I trimmed this piece down just to see how much I had to play with there. And I'm thinking of making like a little mini card. And this one is two and a half by three inches. And so it is a three by five inch card base folded in half. So here I just take a couple of the strips and I'm going to kind of layer them together for my card front. That bundle of joy that I originally cut at again like a one and three quarter inch circle, I realized I want to cut it down to one and a half and then use my one and three quarter inch circle as like my mat layer. So I had to finagle it into my one and a half inch circle punch there to get it centered. So here I'm just trimming down my pieces to fit that 
little mini card front and I'm going to adhere them down and I'm leaving like a small border around the outside edges of the two pieces together. And then I'm going to take that bundle of joy and I try to pull in those teal stars but realize I wanted to bring in some more white. So I'm just punching some little stars out of the scraps that I had. And I'm going to stagger those around just as some additional decoration. I am putting my sentiment on and then realized I wanted the darker side up. So pull it off, add some more glue, put it down on the other side. And now I can adhere that to my card front. Then I'm just going to add my stars to the front. And so sometimes if you can't make another full card, you can always make like a little gift tag size card. And then if I have small scraps that I can't do anything else on a card with, I will go ahead and punch shapes out of it. And like, so I'll punch things like I like the thought of the blue stars. I feel like I could use those in a bunch of different ways. So I just pull out my a couple star punches and punch out some blue stars and I can always use pink flowers. So again, these scraps aren't just getting tossed, you know, I'm making the most of them if I can. Sometimes they're just not big enough to do that with, but. So here are the five cards I made using my sheet load leftovers from the August 2021 sheet load of cards. I got another three hello or welcome baby type cards, a birthday card, and then a little mini card that could be perfect for a baby gift bag. But I thank you guys so much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I used my sheet load leftovers and I hope you're all having a very crafty day.